40% of the world's entire population is currently on lockdown. America and the world face a turning point that will define generations to come. Like most Americans, you probably have a lot of questions. Is the government respecting the common good with such a severe lockdown? Are we inching closer and closer to a one-world socialist dictatorship? If churches remain closed, what will happen to the spiritual common good? How far can the government go to restrict your personal freedom? Why is the communist Chinese model of social control being praised so much? Are we being manipulated by exaggerated fear and media hype? These are big picture questions which the American TFP answers in a recent study titled, Warning, A Virus Threatens America's Future and Christian Civilization. The radical left is openly planning a new post-COVID world. They say the world will never be the same. They want to make the world more egalitarian, more eco-friendly, more socialist. Their new world vision will neither correct past mistakes nor consider a return to order based on the natural law and the principles of organic Christian society. Instead, liberals dream of a one-world police state, first in the area of public health, then in ecology, politics, and finally, even in philosophy and religion. We started a campaign, a mission, a pilgrimage today in St. Augustine, Florida to say a rosary at every single U.S. capital and territories. The subject of this video is big. It's the biggest tour we've ever done in the history of the American TFP. Our objective is to ask God to help America return to order as soon as possible. We don't like the way things are going with the quote-unquote new normal of the COVID socialist solutions, and we are absolutely opposed to the anarchy that we see in today's streets. Our hearts and souls go out to all of Americans and asking them to join us in praying the rosary to return to order as soon as possible. We decided to start off our nationwide rosary rallies here in St. Augustine, Florida, because this is where the first Catholic parish mass was celebrated by Father Lopez in 1565 with the Menendez expedition to Florida. So it's a really exciting place to be and it's really symbolic to start out here. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I think it's fantastic that this uh, group of people have uh, come together America needs Fatima. We need her to restore the country back to godliness and sanity and the principles of the Bible. We've been locked out of our churches. It's amazing. I don't understand what's going on because we're supposed to be people of faith that believe in God. I'd love to see a group that's men standing up for something <laughs> really positive because, yeah, we need more male groups that are doing this. We do. So that was the first day in our tour for America's return to order. We're taking down our tents now. We stayed the night in Georgia after going all around Florida during the day. Do you know where we're going today, Mr. John? Somewhere in Georgia? Well, that's, that's a great guess. Today we're gonna to be going to the capital of Georgia, which is Atlanta, and praying the rosary there. And from there we're gonna go all over the country. So I'll try to keep you posted. Keep your prayers up for us because we really need it. Overwhelmingly positive out here in Georgia. Just incredible. We're at Benning today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yep. Take care, man. Trying to pray the rosary at every single state capital all around America. That's great. For order. That's great. Man. I'm sure it's going to make a difference. Will you pray for us? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. This is the first time I've been able to pray the rosary with a group because of all of the shutdowns. So this is just beautiful. We found out yesterday this was here today. We got here today. Short notice, yeah. Yeah, well, we made it beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless all your efforts and be safe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, weren't you also in New York? Yes. It, it's an easy trip because it's equidistant from here to Albany and here to Hartford, Connecticut. Thank you for coming to two rallies. 
you're thank you for being here for 50. So <laughs> I only did two out of 50. You guys are going to do 50 out of 50. Well, thank you for being here. Yes, this was a gift. Keep up I just the good found fight. out about it last night. Well, Satan may have arranged for the crucifixion, but God arranged for the resurrection. And I'm here for the resurrection of this country and your banner, uh, tradition, family and property, I think pretty much, you know, very quickly says, we're fighting for the soul of America. And if we're fighting with the Blessed Mother, I think you said it earlier again, we can't lose. The, the outcome is already ordained. So we want to be on the winning side. What did you go through to come here? I worked extra early so that I could do this. And then I'm going to work extra late so I could be here. It was that important for me to do this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I just want to thank you for coming. It was a wonderful event. I love Our Lady. And I'm sure she's helped us. Presentation. Thank you. Please, Our Lady of Watch over Alaska. Bring us all back together as one in you. Amen. And Jesus, your son. Amen. Uh, the way forward is with God and Jesus, and that's the way forward. And if everybody gets on board, we'll change this whole country into a great place again. This is the way to do it. You got to fight the spiritual battle. You can't just talk. You got to go and do, pray, penance, fasting. You like what you see today? Yes, I do. All right. Yeah, hey, this is Pastor Todd Tillman. You seen the voice? <laughs> yeah, I will. All about people out here praying, though. So, oh, you'll, you'll, you'll go ahead and keep praying for us, for sure. Yeah, we, we will. Need we to pray. will. We sure do. America oh, yeah. needs to pray. Thank you. Hey, what do you think of what's going on here? I like it. You like it? Yeah, I know. It's a great thing for this country. We need more of it. So the story of the fellow with the bike is that he was watching our rosary here in Concord, New Hampshire for about 20 minutes. So I went over and talked to him and invited him over. And then he ended up coming up to the statue, kneeling down before it, and we even gave him a rosary. He's not even Catholic. And now he's sticking around, kind of acting as a bodyguard. Pretty amazing. Being at home, praying the rosary together as a family is, is a great thing. But coming together with communion with all these saintly people, these good people out here, people like yourselves, really shows you that this world is much better than what we're led to believe. And there's a lot of us, and we're going to overcome. And the, and the best part is, there is this silent majority, and that's what's going to come out and uh, finally going to show themselves with the kind of courage that you give people. Your young men are the best. Oh, yeah. These young men are quite inspiring. They're yeah, the future of the church. I recognized your group, and I said, I bet that is uh, the Lady of Fatima. In fact, That's correct. I've gotten messages from your group mm -hmm. asking if we wanted to visit. As a Protestant, I could say, I wish that Protestants would be as committed as you all are on marriage, mm -hmm. family, Thank you. and on pro-life. The bottom line is the only thing going to save this country is people like you. Thank you very much. Got him. Those are real buffalo out there. Real buffalo, right there. Trying to get it set up before the rain comes back. There you go. Pretty 
Beautiful, huh? <laughs> Super beautiful. America needs calm, courage, confidence. St. Michael, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, pray for us. We traveled all day and most of the night to get to our hotel at about 1, only to find that our reservation was canceled. So no joke, we kept driving 12 hours straight. At a certain point we just had to stop in the middle of nowhere, and some of us even got out and slept under the trees. So this was a really hard night. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. So this is a really crazy situation. We're in Denver, Colorado, and this graffitied building, believe it or not, is the Capitol. But you see how all these windows are boarded up? I'm sure they were broken. There's graffiti all over the Capitol. I've never seen anything like this in all the different capitals we've been doing. And I also found a pentagram over there. That's a satanic symbol. This is crazy. This has to stop. We need to defund the police, and we need to demilitarize the police. And I want to be very clear that the word defund is not a euphemism. It means just what it says, take away their money. They're not doing incredible, like the list of things that they don't do well is long, so we need to take away their money. I heard there's going to be a BLM protest here at the supposed to be going on now. Now, but it's huh? the they're out there on the west. Steps. Okay, they're on the west. Steps. So right now, there's more news cameras than people at the protest, but that's how it normally is. I, they I hit think... the basilica. Yeah. Did they? Did. Yeah. Forty-five thousand dollars worth of damage. At the basilica. And I don't know if that's just graffiti or if they did something worse. Okay, I see now. It looks like they had to wash off all these steps and the doors, and apparently these light posts too. Three blocks away is City Hall, okay. and there are parks in between, mm -hmm. and they've been completely taken over by who knows who. Just ne'er-do-wells camping out there? Yeah. yeah. So I think I should explain why in a lot of these videos we can't get right in front of the Capitol because we have these other protests going on, and then a lot of people just end up shouting at us when they go by. Black Lives Matter! Go on! Pray for us now. Help now. these people yeah. understand. They no, should be praying for black folks to stop being murdered by police. That's all. Thank you, God. Bless you. I'm not seeing you here is encouraging. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. If that's, you don't know, that's why if you we're looked on the around road. just a few nights ago, you see that pharmacy association. Uh -huh. They torched that building. They climbed up and they tore down these flags and burnt the U.S. flag right here in front of our state capitol. It's it's evil. What's going on? Yeah. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. You're the Pharisees! You're the Pharisees! You're the property-owning Pharisees! I don't see anybody there with you, you white people! Pray for your president! Pray for your sin president! Ben Sam! 
Nazi. Jesus Christ! You don't represent Jesus Christ! You represent people who want more power and more property! I'm not sure! I thought the Catholics stuck up for the poor! One good thing! One good thing! Are you Catholic? He's Catholic and I, I went to Catholic I school. Know. I know about Catholics. They're like this. The rich white Catholics are like There is like quite that. a, in your religion, I must say, there's quite a, a flaw with, there's quite a continuum. They don't care! Sorry, I'm not having a conversation. They don't give a about the blacks! Where is your, we need you to get on board with this. Are you pro-life? Hey, we're not talking about that right now. Are you okay, we're gonna go. That's none of your business. But I appreciate your calm and talk. Yeah, appreciate it. I don't. God bless you. God bless you, because Jesus wouldn't be here. Y'all seem real organized. You got your together. Y'all see the cross that was up here the other day? I think it was uh, Sunday, they put a cross up. Yeah, I pushed it over. I'm going to hell. I want to go to hell and I want to torture every one of you. Your God. Your God. Your God. We're doing a rosary rally at the capital of Oregon. Uh -huh. On the other side is a Black Lives Matter protest. But that's not a problem. We're gonna do it on the uh, opposite side of the Capitol. Okay. And we'll see how long we can go. If uh, you know, if they start to harass us, then we'll just wrap up and get to back to the van. Excellent. Thanks to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Amen. Oh no, no, I'm just hanging out here. Uh, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at yeah. the hour. Like y'all done? <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take the mask down. Oh, I'm sorry. No. If you'd like, I can talk louder though. Does that help? How many honks has this guy got? Oh, zero. Hey, just saying. You're bringing that to a rally with kids. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, I can talk a lot louder than y'all can say. Just saying. Future terrorists of the world unite. This is the future movement of the Christian fundamentalist organization. My God. Two weeks. How are you? Hey, two feet back. Hey, two feet back. Two feet back or I get my gloves back. Two feet back or I get my gloves out. We have permission to be here. All right, so do we. It's a public property. Then respect what we're doing. I don't, but I'll be here. I'll be documenting if you don't respect it. I'm going to call it off. All right, call it. Respect what we're doing. All right, away from us and I'll respect what you're doing. Just documenting. How's that showing you guys' faces on? In nomine patria spirito sancto. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us No comp zone for public safety, for real BLM. When we got to Washington, we managed to infiltrate the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. So here we have a rainbow flag, and it says you are now entering the Autonomous Zone. Communist slogans, rainbow flags, and slurs against the police were spray painted everywhere. So this here is the police department, and it looks like that they've spray painted over it and kind of taken it over. Crazy. I gave the police to St. Michael medal. Oh, uh, okay. They always love this medal to St. Michael. They always love it. That's them. great. All throughout this tour, whenever TFP volunteers encounter law enforcement or National Guard that have been called out, like in Atlanta, Georgia, we make it a point to give them St. Michael's medals to show our support for them. St. Michael's the uh, patron saint of all armed forces, oh, That's all of us. military and, and police force. We set up for a campaign here in Cheyenne and we were going to move up to the steps because it's starting to rain. It's been raining really bad. Thankfully, it's cleared up. But one of the law enforcement 
officers came out and said we had to move. And then I gave him a St. Michael's medal and he's super enthused. He's like, wow, this is amazing. I have a few other officers. Could you come and give them medals? So that's what we just did. How are y'all doing today? Hey, how are you? This is St. Michael's medal. He's, he's the patron saint of law enforcement, so. Here's a St. Michael's medal for you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. St. Michael. That's cool. <laughs> That's my first name, too. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is the International Pilgrim Virgin Statue of Our Lady of Fatima that was sent and commissioned by the Bishop of Fatima in 1947, according to the description of Sister Lucia, one of the children who saw Mary in 1917 in the Cova de Iria. The statue was carved with the intention of entering Russia because Our Lady predicted that Russia will spread her errors throughout the world. The statue also has been documented to have shed tears. She wept in New Orleans in 1972. And the bishop at the time had it examined, put it in a lab, and they found it to be of human tears. So we have here the statue traveling in this caravan, visiting all the 50 Capitol buildings, asking Mary, the mother of mercy, for intercession, begging her for peace in the world. Thank you.